Hey guys, Mike over here at Appearing Audio, and today we're going to do a quick video on how to remove a Varus Grand uh, tower grill. This will actually apply to all the Varus Grand speakers. It's a question we do get from customers from time to time. Um, you know, we, we did design this grill and recommend that you keep them on. They were voiced that way. Uh, so the graphs that you see on, online or on our website, those are all with the grill in place. So keep that in mind. Uh, we do recommend you keep the grills on. If you do want to take them off to take a listen uh, and a look, you know, that can be done. Uh, just keep in mind it is a full metal grill, so it is a little bit heavier. And then in addition, it's pressure fit into the, the side baffles on all of the Varish Grand speakers. In addition to the, the, uh, the pressure fit, there are neodymium magnets that hold the metal grill in place as well. So it's, it's in there. It's meant to stay. But if you do want to remove it, here's a, a quick way to do it. Uh, what you want to do is kind of hold the top. And down at the bottom, if you got some fingernails, that's going to be probably your most useful tool. Find a little bit of an edge and just give it just a bit of pressure. And once you get past the, the magnets moving, uh, you can f you can actually start to grip it a little bit. Now, here's what you want to do: is pull it out from the bottom just about an inch or so. What you don't want to do from here is actually open it up like a book, because you can you can damage the the baffle up top. You want to slide it down, and you can push from the top and slide it right out. And that's the way to do it. Um, and inside, you'll see all your drivers. Works great. When you put it in the same way, it should go in quite a bit easier because of the magnets. So keep in mind, line everything up, and place it in, get the corners in, and you're all set. If you have any more questions, give us a call at appearingaudio.com.